Hello everyone, I'm Sang Chul Lim. I'm a periodontist at Misa Well Dental Clinic. 안녕하세요, Misa Well 치과 임상철 원장입니다. 만상하오, 워스 한국어 Well, Misa Well 약 의원 더 인상조 원장. 따자하오, I'm happy to be with you, all of you again by Dentium Life Surgery and follow up. As always, today's live surgery will be performed by Dr. Zhang. The topic for today is rehabilitation of severely atrophic edentulous mandible. You will be able to learn the basic concepts and skills for treatment of edentulous mandible and how to easily perform implant surgery on reduced narrow ridge. We will be brief to a review before moving the surgery. Let's take a look at today's case. Today's case, as I mentioned before, rehabilitation of severely atrophic edentulous mandible. So today's patient, a 74 years old female patient, she wants to get the fixed prosthesis instead of uh, removable and full uh, denture. About the past dental history, using maxillary LPD and the mandible complete dentures, so he want to have uh, a fixed dentition, transitional uh, to a fixed dentition. She, get, she got the implant on number 14, 15, 17, 26, 33, 43, two days ago. Uh, past medical history is non-specific. Uh, it is a panoramic view at the first visit to the well dental clinic. As you know, as you can see, lower mandible was edentulous, upper a partial edentulous. So she wear the RPD on maxilla, the complete dentures on mandible. Uh, this intraoral photos showing us about the first visit view of the patient. Okay, so uh, two days ago, the, actually Dr. Zhang did the implantation on 14, 15, 17, 26 area implantation surgery. All of these areas installed by bright tissue level 4.0. 11 millimeter, 9 millimeter, it depends on the available bone. Uh, this area is showing us about the lower mandible area, number 33 and 43 surgery. Okay. Also, the bright tissue level, 4.0 diameter, 11 millimeter. Exactly the same areas, uh, number 33, 43 and the well done installed with the parallelism and the a, very a similar height of each implant fixtures. And after this surgery, uh, Dr. Zhang tried to have a provisional restoration that depend on higher initial stability and good uh, situation of implant fixture. So number 14, 15, 24 areas have a provisional lastration like this one uh, using a PMMA and the custom abutment. This, all of these tissue level implant fixtures are shown to us like this one. So upper four implant fixtures installed, lower two implant fixtures installed. Uh, this one is a pre-op CT, uh, today's uh, surgery site. Number 14, uh, number uh, 47, 45, 44. Actually, these areas have a knife edge. And number 34, 35, 37, the similar, the same as before. The, as always, you know, the denture wearing patient have a knife edge cause of uh, occlusal loading and the uh, uh, normally bone resorption, resorption process. So, the first problem is that how can we apply, how can you overcome this uh, narrowed ridge for the implant surgery? Uh, second one depends on the vertical relation 
and horizontal relation uh, between the jaw. So we have to think about the fixed uh, prosthesis is available or not. So uh, this one is actually uh, the old dentures uh, that used as an initial guide uh, for initial drill point. So this one is surgery plan. The implantation on 34, 35, 37, 44, 45, 47 using a bright tissue level, as I mentioned before. And the drilling 34, 44, uh, these areas uh, using uh, by existing old dentures, uh, like a uh, uh, stent, working as a stent. Okay. So a vocal contour augmentation, if necessary, area using osteon 3 collagen and collagen graft 2. So all of these implant fixtures chosen by bright tissue level. So bright tissue level's advantages uh, that we can learn. What is the advantages of implant, uh, bright implant fixture tissue level system? Okay. Uh, about osteon 3 collagen, as you know very well, uh, this osteon 3 collagen is collagenized uh, bone graft material. The particle is osteon 3, same as osteon 3, alloplastic graft material. Uh, these uh, alloplastic materials, uh, the, the volume holding properties are excellent. And the collagen binder holding all the graft materials, so make easy manipulation uh, during the surgery and the uh, uh, wettability uh, during the surgery also. The collagen is absorbed with a few weeks after grafting. So, and after that, all the graft materials working as a, a scaffold for newborn formation. And nowadays, collagen graft 2 is also available and prevailed. The, actually, these uh, collagen graft materials a little bit different uh, compared to collagen membrane. The collagen membrane is focusing on barrier function. This one is actually promoting faster soft tissue. So if you use this graft two, the collagen graft two, uh, you can use this one as very versatile, the efforts, versatile purposes. Uh, faster soft tissues and the soaking some of uh, materials like a PDRN or like uh, gross factors like this one. Okay, the bright tissue level, the, as you know very well, uh, simplifying surgical procedures uh, achieved by using this system. If narrow reach, uh, this tissue level uh, systems uh, achieve the, the far higher to achievement that, uh, that we expected cause of uh, uh, thread design and the top portion, the built-in type, abutment style, and the strong neck portion. All of these components coordinate well, so gave us uh, the maximize the performance when we use this uh, tissue level fixture on the narrow ridge. Let's think about the, let's take about this similar case. Uh, this similar case prepared for comprehensive understanding before the surgery video. Okay, uh, as you know, the lower mandible uh, extremely resolved, so thin and uh, resolved style. So available available bone is extremely small, and upper jaw also the same. The, however, uh, this uh, lower jaw have an uh, implant fixture for support a uh, denture forest. However, but uh, trend, uh, the moving to fixed prosthesis after adding the more implant fixtures after at the first time of two implantation, like this one. So a bright tissue level, 3.5 implant, 
installed like this one and adding a little bit more and more the number of the fixture and the closer to closer the final fixed prosthesis. The, however, you have to think about the vertical relation and horizontal relation of the jaw before starting the procedure for pro, uh, the final uh, fixed prosthesis, right? So if uh, the, uh, poor the vertical relation and horizontal relation of both jaw, you have to think about the another form of final lustration instead of a fixed type. For example, like hybrid type denture, hybrid type a prosthesis is sometimes better than a full fixed prosthesis when the jaw relation was poor of the patient. But anyway, uh, this uh, patient installed the uh, fixture and finally uh, this patient got the provisional lustration with a fixed PMMA, like this one. So lower jaw, what about this one? All six implants installed and the, get the final lustration as a fixed processes. Fixed processes as a final lustration, right? So uh, sometimes that is good, sometimes that is not good for the patient. It depends on jaw relation. But anyway, uh, this patient want to have a fixed prosthesis, implant supported fixed prosthesis type, so final lustrations like this one. What about this uh, style, prosthetic style? The actually, a function was good, patient was happy, the, however, aesthetic is compromised, especially upper and lower jaw, higher vertical relation style. Okay, uh, this one is uh, final lacerations panoramic view. Implant fixtures are a little bit uh, extremely installed. The small length, small diameter and short lengths supported the final uh, fixed lacerations on the lower jaw. Okay. Uh, this one is another case. Simple implantation with maxillary invasive, uh, minimally invasive surgery case. Especially if we, especially we want to have, if we want to have a minimal invasive surgery, bright tissue level fixtures gave us a lot of advantages, favor, uh, cause of uh, this kind of reason. First, actually this one is easy to install and the simple drilling sequence and the tissue level have uh, the built-in type a screw abutment style so the connection is stronger than the bone level implant fixture even though the narrow reach narrow diameter we can get the stronger connection compared to bone level implant fixture okay uh, checking the parallel and the bright tissue level installed 4.0, 9 millimeter. Even though 4.0, the very uh, or the almost the same strength with the 4.5 bone level, the cause of its own nature, shape, and the style of connection. Okay, post up like here. Yeah, healing two weeks, and the provisional lacerations. Actually, if you have uh, insertion was good with a higher insertion torque, the normally two weeks later, uh, when you have a uh, stitched out and we delivered this uh, dual abutment or custom abutment with the PMMA for temporization. Okay, the final lacerations like here after soft tissue healing. Okay, final the panoramic view. The upper, what about the upper situation? Uh, very nice, as you know, and the lower also was good. Okay. Uh, oh. So, let's move to the surgery room. 
Uh, Dr. Zhang is checking the proper position using the old denture. Uh, checking the uh, position on number 44 side. Now this area is 45 years old, 43 and 33 implant was installed before two days be two days ago now to another position they try to implant installed this area is number 45 35 The fortunately, uh, this patient have a, uh, even though the complete denture, the, however, jaw relation was good. Uh, this patient was a good candidate for the final lustration, the fixed, fi fixed prosthesis as a final lustration. Okay, so Dr. Jung is going to have uh, more implantation for fixed final lustrations. Okay, at this area, already done the number 33, 43 area. A scan comfort cap connect. Yeah, I think uh, this connect cap, comfort cap, working as very versatile purpose. First, scanning jig. Next, second, uh, working as a healing abutment. Now, uh, this uh, comfort cap working as a uh, the parallel pin. So crystal incision is uh, making the on the mandible, as you know, the mid mid crystal incision is popular. The normal style. Number twelve blade was uh, used. At this time point, the continuous incision, clear cut, con continuous clear cut, and the one shot incision skill is very important for minimize the trauma of the soft tissues and uh, promote easy uh, reflection of the plaque from the lower underneath the bone with a full uh, thickness plaque. Okay, the ordinary situation, the denture wearing patient have a thin type gingiva, very thin uh, gingiva, as you can see. So uh, very uh, gentle, the manipulation is necessary part to manage soft tissues and uh, some uh, kinds of surgery. Dr. Zhang is uh, Dr. Zhang like a periodontal curate. This periodontal curate used uh, many versatile purposes. Now this curate working as a separating tool of soft tissues. Okay. The Rindeman drill, the indication hole, the holding with uh, this insertion pin, the guide pin to checking the parallel, the 
checking pass. And the relation of a perjol. And after that, starting more. Now, uh, he is using the Fisher bar with high speed. The actually, uh, this Fisher bar, high speed Fisher bar, sometimes used for the faster drilling, like this uh, lower jaw, the mandible area. Cause of this lower jaw, a thick cortical a uh, layers, thick cortical uh, plate areas. Uh, sometimes prevent proper positioning of Lindemann drill with a lower uh, speed. So higher speed, the efficient uh, drill is, should be choosed, like a Fisher bar uh, or Lindemann drills, and high efficient uh, drill, initial drill is an uh, important necessary part to make a proper positioning at the uh, first time of implant surgery, osteotomy site. Okay. So actually, this patient has uh, uh, enough vertical available bone, so Dr. Jung is not uh, cautious about the lower mandibular canal when you have uh, when he have uh, a drilling. The, however, the tight uh, a patient, like uh, a small volume of vertical height, available bone, you have to consider, you have to cautious uh, during the drill, uh, you have to recognize underneath lower mandibular canal, right? This is a very basic and essential part when you have a lower mandibular drill for osteotomy. Okay, after making a proper positioning, using the Fisher bar with a high speed handpiece, and then changing the drill, the Lindemann drill, and the continuous drilling with, uh, I think, the 1500 RPM or uh, 1200 RPM is normal speed. Sometimes some surgeons want to have a, like a 1,000 RPM with the, uh, the cell line irrigation. It depends on the surgeon's style. It depends on the bone quality. So from the 1,000 to 1,500, the RPM with the cell line irrigation is normal drilling sequence at the first time of osteotomy. Okay, after that, checking again with the pass pin. At the first time of uh, today's surgery, the Dr. Zhang first, uh, that was our first step. Dr. Zhang adapt all uh, complete dentures the patient used, which is patient used and adapt into the mouse, and the making ready made hole, uh, making up the small dent, and then they will remove the denture and checking the dent position, it is proper for osteotomy or not. And after checking that, he uh, to confirm the proper position again and then the starting the incision and the proper drilling sequence for osteotomy, right? So you have to uh, remember. You have to keep in mind that the, pre the sequence of the full mouse uh, rehabilitation drilling sequence. Okay, and sometimes uh, like this one, the hard bone uh, with the Lindemann drill uh, slow down the speed of hand, the drill and then a little bit the stirring, uh, stir, stirring motion is also the good skill for the, for the promotion of proper osteotomy on harder bone like type 2. Okay, 
Uh, checking again. Uh, the opposite dentition. The, what they think about the, the position? I think the fortunately, fortunately, this patient have a good relation. So the old dentures, the uh, central porsa areas, have a small hole for like a guide surgery uh, the stent. And the, fortunately, this area is exactly the same, the opposite dentitions, the proper osteotomy side. Okay. Okay, move to lower right area. The same as before, this tissue bar with high speed was used. Make a dentition on this uh, hard bone. So actually, this uh, narrowed the reach with a thick cortical or narrowed the reach with a hard bone. It is very difficult to make a proper uh, the osteotomy when you have a starting with the initial drill. Cause of these uh, slope areas is too slippery when you use uh, drilling, right? So um, at this time, uh, the someone use small round bar with a high speed. Uh, some another den dentist like this uh, Fisher bar. It depends on the situation, depends on the style. I prefer to use round bar instead of this Fisher bar, right? And the Lindemann until 11 millimeter cause of uh, enough vertical bone volume. Okay. As you know, this bright implant system have odd number lengths, 7, 9, 11, like this one. So the bottom of white band of the drill the indicate 9 millimeter. So another system, like a superline implantium, the even number, the system of the length of the fixture. So the bottom of white band, 10 millimeter, right? So you have to, you don't have to confuse it. You should not confusing the proper the position of the drill. Okay, so once again, to put the parallel pin on into the initial drilling site and checking parallel, checking opposite dentition, the lalat relation of opposite dentition and checking the pass. All the three dimensional position uh, should be confirmed at this procedure of drilling and uh, go further after this the confirmation the process. Okay. little bit more a flat reflection. I think the proper position uh, he yeah Dr. Jung think about the proper position is a little bit the posterior. So he reflect the flap and the moving a little bit distally for proper final aspiration and starting the moving a little bit distally. Uh, this procedure is very uh, simple and easy. Cause of Lindemann have uh, the higher efficient osteotomy effect uh, drill. Osteotomy effective drill. So if you want to have a little bit the moving with the, another direction uh, from the first indentation point, like a little bit 
the distally, immediately, and lingual palatal, and it doesn't matter. Uh, all the proper position should be confirmed at the time point of the uh, Lindemann drill process, Lindemann drill step, right? And after the confirmation, the proper position, and then to go further, go ahead with the final drill. Now that is basic of osteotomy. Okay, uh, it's already done all, yeah. Actually, the drill, the almost done on the right, uh, right, the lower, right posterior area. Can you see the number? The, Marking number. On the uh, pin surface, the metal surface, metal surface, you can see the number, the number four, five, eight, like this number. Yeah. On the surface of uh, this parallel pin, it means the diameter. This pin is unique type, unique shape. Uh, the read a little bit like a dish style, dish style, the, the metal dish with the pole. So this dishes, the metal dishes, they gave us uh, information about final lastration, right? So the premolar, maybe seven, eight millimeter, the molar, nine millimeter. And the lower first molar is the biggest molar of our mouse, 10 millimeter major distal. So you can use this indication, the demarcated the number with the insertion pin. Okay? The so drill sequence, after drill sequence, insertion is very simple, as you know. And this, uh, the bright bone level. Right, the tissue level implant have a sharp the thread, sharp reaches of thread, so higher self tapping efficiency. It got the so higher self tapping efficiency. So uh, after insertion, that we got the higher insertion torque, insertion stability. So it means it is a higher to get the better uh, the situation, make better situation to the immediate implantation, immediate loading, the immediate lastration, like this one, right? At the first step for all of this procedure, immediate implantation, the immediate the temporization, the immediate loading, all of these uh, procedures uh, should be uh, proper a positioning, a proper insertion sequence. The basic line is insertion torque. So this bright tissue level have uh, lots of uh, favor, like this uh, viewpoint. Okay, the insertion RPM is so faster. Dr. Zhang prefer to use 50 RPM for insertion. However, the, lack of the recommendation of the company, 24, about the 30, the actually 20, 30, 25 is a normal insertion speed, right? The double times faster insertion speed when the doctor zone to have a final fixture installation. When you have a faster insertion. Okay, the final drill. Did you see the final drill? Uh, this one is uh, Lindemann style final drill. Uh, this final drill, the higher upgraded cutting efficiency, right? So faster insertion. Yeah, hand ratchet to proper 
the positioning, the control of the depth. The depth control is also the important part, important part to make a good the restoration emergence profile, right? So too shallow implantation is uh, emergence profile will be not will be bad. So a little bit deep insertion is better to make uh, the better emergence profile of the final restoration. The, however, this one is tissue level. Little, this one is a little bit different compared to bone level, insertion height, insertion depth. But anyway, a little bit deep insertion of picture is better than the shallow insert installation because of in the viewpoint of the emergency profile of the final lustration, right? Okay, so yeah, to summarize all the fixture size and length, about the 35, uh, 34 area, 3.5 diameter, 9 millimeter is told. 35 area, 4.0, 9 millimeter is told. Now, 37 area, diameter, 4.5 and 7 millimeter. A little bit one size bigger diameter and shorter length. Okay, cause of uh, he want to get the higher insertion torque, so changing the diameter, one size bigger, one size bigger, 4.5, the same length, 7 millimeter. Installed areas 30, 33, 34, 35, 37. Yeah, it is basic, the position, right? So when you have a full mouse illustration, the from canine to canine, this one is one piece. The another, the both of the posterior area have a two piece, four, five, seven, or four, six, like this one. 457 is one, the piece, and the 323, the canine to canine, is uh, another one piece, and the finally the left one is the same as uh, the light one, the posterior. Oh, yeah, the remove this, uh, the fixture. Okay, oh, yeah, the previous one is a little bit the wider, the bigger diameter, so it is impossible to fully sit it on the osteotomy site. So Dr. Zhang tried with the hand ratchet, but the Dr. Zhang is changing his mind, so they remove the previous one and then put it again with a smaller diameter, 4.5 and 7 millimeter. It is more the comfortable the sitting on the osteotomy side. Yeah, I think yeah, this size is better than the previous one. Now, all the implant is told with the planned area and removing plastic cap and connect with the healing abutment, working as a healing abutment. The official naming the comfort cap, uh, yeah, dual function first. Healing, working as a feeling abutment. Second, the actually scanning jig. So if you want to have, if you want to uh, scanning the same day of the surgery day, yeah, after suturing, uh, you can use a hand intra scan for the scanning. Cause of this scanning jig uh, gave us a proper positioning, a proper the position of implant fixture. So, the sending the file 
to the laboratory and then do we handle all this situation on the program and the custom abutment with the PNMA was delivered, can be delivered to the patient mouse at the same day or maybe in a few days later after surgery, it doesn't matter. So all of these procedures are possible because of a digital system. Okay. Yeah. The fixture is installed. Very simple procedure. Just, I think, uh, three drilling is enough to install. The Rindeman and the final, that's it. The before starting the Rindeman, actually, he used the fissure bar, the proper positioning without the slip ring. Okay. I think uh, all of these implant fixtures, the perfect positioning, perfect position, seems like uh, a digital guide surgery, right? Uh, this one is, as you know, the free-handed surgery. However, seems like a fully digital guide surgery. So how can we achieve this kind of result, even though the lower the edentulous area? First, uh, checking the landmark, the, like a midline and the upper jaw positioning, and this, if possible, uh, the using the old denture of the patient. Okay, this one is actually the easy checking, ISB. ISB I, ISD value is similar to ISQ of Austin Mantle. The Austin Mantles need uh, a connection pack like a pack, and then uh, sometimes this pack is not, not fully seated the situation. It is impossible to get the proper score. However, this uh, easy check of the Dentium companies, these small devices, gave us a, a more comfortable uh, situation when we want to have uh, the insertion token the stability. Uh, uh, this device is named as uh, the trust. Yeah? The device name is trust. That the tapping type devices. The score of the tapping, after tapping of these trust devices. Very similar, or the almost exactly, almost the same as ISQ values when the Austin Mantle devices. So I think uh, nowadays I prefer to use this uh, the trust easy checking system because of this one is uh, uh, after connecting the healing abutment. Uh, this situations also available for using this. Uh, checking devices uh, like this uh, scanning jeep situation all the intraoral situation the without the screw without the screw out uh, no screw out situation just uh, tapping and that's it Now this uh, implant stability measuring devices uh, very useful and simple. To any angle we can uh, touch and we can check. Connect with the healing abutment, connect with the scan abutment, the comfort cap, doesn't matter. We're just tapping, and we can see the score. Okay, the left side, left side of the mandible of the patient was done. Now this right area have some depression about number 44, 45, the premolar area. 
So Dr. Zhang is going to use he is going to use this Austin 3 collagen, the collagenized graft material for the rich, horizontally rich augmentation, the volume maintenance, making the volume, the buckley, cause of the contour, the final lustration will be better, and the cover with the collagen graft. This collagen graft, the versatile, what versatile? Actually, this one is uh, the barrier function is lower compared to barrier membrane. However, this one is promote soft tissue healing and and the soaking with uh, some another component like PDLN or the bone growth factor. So all of these devices working promote newborn formation faster. So even though uh, the flap open style, yeah, it doesn't matter. Cause of uh, this uh, collagen graft, the prim promote a faster healing of connective tissues and epithelialization, the epithelium. So I think that's one or two days after, after we can see the flap, the almost flap closure. The close the flap. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. One more, he used one more Austin 3 collagen graft. Very simple, easy handling, uh, bone graft material. Especially, this one is good indication for using this. Austin 3 collagen. The volume augmentation. For volume augmentation, this simple procedure uh, is better compared to the fully GBR procedure. Okay. He want he want to make some more the prominent this posterior area. Cause of uh, some of the depression bone the shape. I think a perfect installation with a perfect position, perfect angle like a digital guided surgery, even though freehand style. Actually, uh, this uh, final stitch is too tight, too close to each other flap. However, as I mentioned before, when if, if we use this uh, kind of uh, graft materials, collagen graft, uh, this graft materials promote soft tissue healing, so not to tight uh, suturing is not necessary. Loose stitch, loose suture is uh, the available for uh, this area. You may not uh, try to a primary closure this area if you use the collagen graft. Okay, I think I did a stitch almost. Yeah, I think the final stitch. The final sutures. Yeah. So. Yeah, very well done. The installation with the higher insertion stability, initial stability, with the, the perfect, almost perfect 
Uh, actually, I want to say perfect position, perfect angle. Okay. So the suture was done. Okay. Oh, yeah. The surgery was done. Yeah. Okay. I thank you for watching. We will be uh, have a uh, last time uh, during 10 minutes. I will be here again in 10 minutes. Thank you.
welcome back. Actually, uh, I'm going to share about the final result of uh, today's surgery. This one is panoramic view of whole installation of implant fixture bright tissue level on lower mandible and upper jaw. As you can see, all the fixtures are very nice, well done, the parallel and the good uh, fixture insertion depths. So all of these fixtures uh, 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 maybe should be working very well in future. Actually, this uh, situation going to the temporization with uh, the PMMA temporary within maybe one or two weeks. Okay, a CT view about the number 47, 45, 44. All of these areas uh, should be fine, good to yeah, go to see, as you know. 34, 35, 37, the very well done. The proper positioning, good angulation, the perfect depths of installation, and osteotomy. All of this situation make a perfect result of implant installation. Okay, and this one is follow-up intraoral photo. The, this year, the title was changed. You know, the, uh, the, until the last year, it's just the dentium live surgery show. The, however, this year, live surgery, surgery and the follow-up. It means we want to show, we want to share the follow-up after surgery. So these photos after surgery, intra uh, photos and view. As you know, as you can see, number uh, 14 and 15 on maxilla and number 24 areas uh, simultaneously actually PMMA temporization already done and about the lower actually the same day uh, intraoral view and healing one week the very nice good faster soft, soft tissues healing was shown right and this one is a unique file uh, this file from actually a CT scan and intraoral scan. The extract STL file from CT scan and the merged each other from STL from CT and STL uh, from intraoral scan. The stitch each other and make a good information like this one. Uh, you can see the clear the fixture images like here. Uh, this one can be done by uh, MAR, the function from Dentium CT. This MAR means metal artifact reduction function uh, from the CT of the Dentium company. So unique, this technique, make it the clear, even though the metal image is very clear, like this one. So uh, we can use like this information to make uh, a further illustration or the further the information to make a final illustration and the final uh, situation. Okay, uh, this one is intraoral, intraoral view, the delivered with the PMMA temporization on the lower part, the provisional illustration. Yeah. How can it, how uh, it can be achieved like this one faster? First, the yeah. proper positioning with the higher insertion torque. Yeah. And number two, the digital technology make it clear to make uh, the PMMA temporization with a custom abutment. So the fully temporization period, like uh, six uh, weeks or eight weeks, soft tissues heal and uh, uh, fully the matured, and then the transition, transformation to the final illustration with the zirconia, with the custom abutment. All of these procedures are simple and easy cause of uh, digital skill and digital technology, as you know, the intraoral scan and the STL file, extract STL file from the CT, the, all of these uh, 
technologies to make merging each other so the outcome make outcome good the result yeah the uh, the lower right lower left area the provisional yeah. restoration situation the emergency profile the interdental view and the soft tissue profiles all the relationships yeah. are very nice and yeah. the, this one is right lower area uh, as you know what to think about this uh, number uh, 45 uh, area soft tissues during healing under, under the healing uh, process, however, the faster healing. Why? How? Cause of uh, collagen graft 2. As I mentioned before, this collagen graft 2 promotes soft tissue healing by uh, faster epithelialization of the soft tissues, right? So, uh, this collagen graft promotes soft tissue healing, so make it faster than ever any other materials. So, uh, we can use uh, these unique properties of uh, materials to make it better of the surgeries. Okay, uh, let's move to Q&A. The actually good question from China. Uh, thank you for the Chinese dentist, the active engage to our uh, this uh, Q&A session. Thank you very much. What is the advantages of bright tissue level in narrow ridge implantation? Especially narrow ridge area uh, restricted all the, uh, the procedure of implantation. Cause of diameter, right? And sometimes uh, we need the GBR procedure. But however, how can we make it easy and simple and better? So uh, the small diameter, narrow diameter implant fixture is first step. The, however, what about the posterior area? Even though 33.5 is enough, actually, as some as some uh, this uh, smaller diameter implant fixture is risky. You know, even though the bone level 3.5 bone level implant on the premolar molar area is so higher risky. So uh, the scale sometimes we scale using this kind of smaller diameter. So, next paradigm is a tissue level. A tissue level, the uh, so unique design, cause of a top portion with uh, the wide neck portion, the built-in type neck portion. So, the same diameter, bone level and tissue level, which one is stronger? So, tissue level is better. Cause of a neck portion is strong, the one unit style fixture. However, all the most of uh, these tissue level implant connections, unfortunately, intra, uh, in internal connection type, even though the tissue level, right? Uh, the more taper or some, the 11 degrees Astra connection styles and nine, uh, eight degrees of uh, Strauman style, the connection, it doesn't matter. Internal connection type. However, this bright tissue level is so unique. Same uh, tissue level, the, however, the connection is uh, totally different. This one is external connection, right? The exactly external, external connection type. The built-in type is screw abutment, a portion of top. Uh, this is unique portion of uh, bright tissue level. It means more stronger than the tissue level of the any other style internal yeah. connection so much better than bone level implant fixture with the same level same diameter even though the 3.5 bone level yeah. is so risky cause of uh, the world is so thin right cause of internal connection however this one is 3.5 yeah. diameter the body is 3.5 however top portion and the abutment level over the abutment level, the top portion of fixture have a strong connection with the screw abutment. So it is, and, the, and also the, the force distribution is totally different. The bone level is lower and this tissue level is higher, the almost the rich crest area. So 
first, first distribution. Number two, the connection, uh, the, the viewpoint of the connection. So it makes it better and stronger compared to bone level. That is why Dr. Zhang use and select and use uh, bright tissue level on the narrow reach, especially like today's uh, the patient, the, the very narrow and knife reach, yeah. knife uh, edge style, the mandible uh, posterior area, right? So uh, you can use, you can choose, you can try this bright tissue level, especially on the reach, uh, the strictly narrow reach and with the uh, knife style, knife shape style. Narrow reach is a good candidate for using the bright tissue level. It is my concern and also uh, the from my experience. Thank you for good question. Once again, uh, Okay, uh, thank you for watching today, all whole session. And uh, we will have a next live surgery on. March 17, Friday, the same time, 7 p.m. in Korean time. Okay, thank you. See you next time. Bye.